It seems that Naoya Inoue versus Louis Neri has been set for May 6th in Japan. Here's my thoughts on this fight. You know, it's a really interesting matchup. I'm glad that Inoue isn't moving up to 126 quite yet. I'm glad he's staying at 122 a little longer to defend those undisputed titles. I felt him moving up to 126 right after going undisputed would have been pretty unfortunate for the fans. Yes, we would have gotten some good fights out of it, but we all want to see him defend that undisputed crown a couple of times at 122. There's a few fights that could be made. Now, him versus Lewis Neri being the fight that got made, I'm not extremely ecstatic about Lewis Neri as an opponent. I am one of the people who wanted to see him fight MJ first or before Neri. However, Lewis Neri is probably the second guy I wanted to see him fight at this weight. I think Lewis Neri is still a good opponent. Lewis Neri has been due for a title shot for a bit now. He was in line to fight Stephen Fulton at one point prior to Fulton getting knocked out and dominated by Neyo Inouye. So I don't really have an issue of him taking on Lewis Neri. I feel that Inouye is really building up his resume. And if you look at who he's fighting, he's not taking any tune-ups. He's not taking any soft touches. I mean, it's absolutely tremendous how Inouye can consistently fight high-level opposition, fight the best guys in his weight class. And right after going undisputed against Marlon Tapalis, a lot of fighters in Inouye's situation either would have had a very long layoff and then fought someone good, or they would have had a tune-up or two and then fought someone good. Now, I understand Lewis Neri isn't a great fighter. He's not the best fighter Anui can be fighting. It's not the it's not the main fight that we want to see Anui make, but it's still a good name, and it's still a man that, in my opinion, has earned the right to get a title shot. He has earned an Anui fight. Now, I do think MJ deserves it more due to the fact that I felt MJ got robbed against Tapalis and prior to that was unified in his own right. But I don't have much of an issue with Lewis Neri being the guy he fights instead. Lewis Neri is coming off a fight of the year candidate and... and a really good victory against Azat Havanesian. I was picking Havanesian to beat him, and Louis Neri ended up getting the late stoppage. It was a really good win for him, and probably one of the best wins he's had in recent years. He also beat Carlos Castro, and Castro was still undefeated. Again, I was picking Neri to lose that fight, so both fights I was picking against him. He proved me wrong, so... Lewis Neri, since that Brandon Figueroa loss, has had a nice little run of fights. He's looked pretty good as of late, and I do think he is a good opponent. However, I want to make it very clear, Neri Inouye, in my opinion, is going to walk through Lewis Neri. This is a fight that people wanted to see years back when both fighters fought at a much lower weight. And back then, there were people that thought Neri had a good shot or would even beat Inouye. I was never one of them, and honestly, at this point, I'm more confident in Inouye now than I was back then when they had the slim possibility of fighting years back. I don't remember if it was at 112 or 118. I believe it was at 112, actually, if I'm not mistaken. was it? What was it, 112, 115? I don't remember the weight class it was at, but they were rumored to fight years ago, back in, what, 2017, 2016, a long time ago. I don't have BoxRec open right now, so my dates are all over the place, and there's a good chance I even got the weight class wrong, but they were scheduled to fight a very long time ago. The fight felt never didn't, didn't fall through because it was never made, but it didn't end up ever materializing, and now it's happening with Nui being undisputed and Lewis Neri challenging him for those titles. I feel Lewis Neri doesn't offer much of a shot to Neri Nui. I think Nui's going to get a, a knockout win at some point in this fight, probably in the middle rounds, rounds five through seven. I feel he's too sharp, he's too powerful, he's too explosive. Lewis Neri is a very good fighter. He is a good name for Neri Nui's resume, and assuming Terrence Crawford doesn't fight anyone respectable, Neri Nui is building his number one pound for pound case with this fight. However, I do think assuming Usyk beats Tyson Fury, I don't think Anui will be above Alexander Usyk, but I still think Nelly Anui is doing a great job solidifying his career. More good wins in the bag. Another good opponent in Lewis Neri. It's a fight that I am looking forward to. As I said, I feel Anui is going to win it relatively clearly. I feel Akhmedaliev is a better opponent. I feel Akhmedaliev would also beat Lewis Neri. I don't think Lewis Neri is that great of a fighter, honestly, but... I don't have an issue with the fight because he's honestly deserved it. He's worked his way up for a Neya Inouye fight. He took on Azad Havanesian, who is the definition of a high-risk, low-reward opponent. I mean, if you look at the Havanesian win, Lewis Neri doesn't really get much credit for that win, but it was a guy that he easily could have lost to that I thought he was going to lose to. And it was also a very close and competitive fight before he got the stoppage. I believe I had it 6-4 plus the knockdown for Neri, or five rounds apiece plus the knockdown. It was a really tough matchup for him. Carlos Castro, another high-risk, low-reward opponent at the time. He was a up-and-comer. He was a guy that I felt was really solid, really building his name up. I felt he was one of the dark horses of 122, which at the time I felt was a phenomenal weight class. I was wide open. It was before I knew he came to the weight. I felt he was one of the dark horses of the weight. I didn't think he was on Fulton's level or MJ's level, but I felt he was just below that. Lewis Neri took him on, got very little credit for that win, but it was a really good opponent. And then you saw what he did against Brandon Figueroa. Before Brandon Figueroa 
got that absolutely abysmal stoppage because I felt it was a terrible stoppage. The fight should not have been stopped, Figueroa versus Carlos Castro. Castro was outclassing Figueroa and getting the better of him. He was looking really good and really sharp in that bout. So Carlos Castro is a definition of a, of a high-risk, low-reward opponent, and Luis Neri got the win, looked impressive, almost got robbed, but got the job done, and he really doesn't get too much credit for that win due to the fact that it was high risk, low reward. So if we're being objective here, I have no issue with Luis Neri getting this fight. As long as Anui doesn't move up right after this fight and he takes on MJ or Sam Goodman, because Sam Goodman's another guy that I'd like to see get a shot due to the fact that he beat up, not beat up, he beat a fighter I interviewed in Raiz Salim. I felt Raiz Salim was another guy that I would have liked to see Anui take on that he ne that he didn't take on yet, but Sam Goodman beat him, so there's no point of seeing that fight now. I'd like to see him fight Sam Goodman as well, but honestly, MJ, that's the guy that he should he should take on next. MJ kind of got screwed over of his titles. It should have been Anui versus MJ for Undisputed instead of Anui versus Tapalis. MJ will be back. He he won since that Tapalis loss, even though it wasn't against anyone special. I hope that after Neri, Anui stays for one or two more fights at 122. Definitely fights MJ after that. Hopefully fight Sam Goodman as well, and then he moves up to 126 and goes for that weight class. I think Anui needs a little more time before going up to 126. Let him grow a little more into the weight. Let him d defend his belts at 122 a little bit. Let him really establish that undisputed run, and then maybe we can see him take on some top opponents at 126. But as I said, when this fight does happen, what I expect is I see Nelly Anui taking control right away, kind of like how he did against Fulton dominating from early on, Neri fighting on the back foot, getting pushed back, and I see Anui probably cornering him on the ropes and landing a nice shot to the liver maybe, maybe following up with some some shots upstairs, but I feel Anui's too good for Lewis Neri. I feel Anui's one of the best fighters in the sport, and I just can't see Lewis Neri pulling it off. I think Neri, a lot of people will say he has a puncher's chance, but I don't think he has that type of power to knock out Anui with one punch. I feel he would have to land an accumulation. And Anui has a great chin, and he actually has really underrated defense. So I don't even think he'd be able to land the shots necessary to land that accumulation of shots. So I'm going to go with Nelia Anui to get the victory. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good fight in May. It's booked a little far down. I think April would have been nicer, but I don't have an issue with May either. I would have liked to see Anui come back a little earlier, though. Nelia Anui is going to make a statement, in my opinion, and hopefully he can fight one or two, probably one more time before the year ends on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve in Japan, keep that run going. Maybe fight in America in September, hopefully. I don't think he's going to take much punishment in this fight. I don't think it's going to be too grueling of a fight. I see Anui getting the job done. Solidifying himself once again as one of the best fighters in the sport. Louis Neri, this is a guy who I feel this is his last opportunity. He doesn't get the job done against Anui. I really don't know what else he can do. He has already lost to Figueroa. He built himself back up to another title shot. But if he loses to Anui, he may have to call it wraps. But yeah, guys, I'm going with Nelia Anui to win 5th to 7th round KO. I'll go for round 6 for now, but I may switch it at the time of the fight. You guys tell me your thoughts, comment section below, as well as your predictions. What do you think about this fight? Who do you see winning? Let me know all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.